we have made it this is the final video if you have followed along and you have answered all of the forms up until now thank you very much Bev thank you for participating um, assuming you have filled in those the six forms that I've asked for so far this is the seventh and final form that I will be asking for where we will finally get the last prediction the prediction for hypothesis number two is coming up in this video if you're here you have just provided these four distances IJKL for the for the red water level and you have also provided the four distances for the green water level STUV let's zoom in a little bit and combine them to look at that predicted measurement that we're looking for the measurements that we are looking for are the difference between the two water levels on the three risers. So I've identified again, this one is M1. So from your previous answers, if you have this distance J and you have this distance S, I would like for you to calculate and provide for me what is the predicted distance between them, which I have labeled M1. And then up there, there's the form. There's the form, and I'll put it down in the link, of course, uh, where you can enter that value. The next value I want is, of course, M2. So the next pair of risers were distance K and distance T. So take the two answers that you already provided, K and T, compare those, subtract them, and give me what is the value M2 for the predicted difference between them if the water levels are following this pattern. And then finally, we have M3. M3 is the difference between L and U from those two previous forms. So you already worked out all that information. Here they all are, all three. Under hypothesis number two, you calculated JKL, you calculated STU. Using hypothesis number two, we subtract those, you now have the answers M1, M2, M3, which are predicted under hypothesis number two. What does hypothesis number two predict if we set it up this way and we do these three measurements? What are we expecting to find? That should conclude this series. Um, once I have some answers on that, I expect to come back and do a follow-up and maybe we can have some discussions about the meaning of these predictions.